Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome yourself back to another episode of my Pokemon Moon series. Uh, we're here back again tackling the post game of the story. And if I'm not mistaken, today we're going to be taking down the last Ultra Beast. Now let me say right now, I have actually tried this part, not all of it. We di I didn't get to the Ultra Beast or anything. But this bit of dialogue right here, I have gone through it. And let me tell you, you fight Nanu, so to hope you better hope you're prepared for that. But I also switched around my team a little bit, and by a little bit, I mean I literally just put, uh... What's it called? Circuitry on my team. For m mostly just so I can take whatever the hell it throws at me down as soon as possible, because Nanu is pretty fucking strong. But anyway, so you came, young Luna. Oh boy. The last part, uh, we did manage to catch two of... I don't think it had... was... I don't remember if it had a... I don't think it had a number to it, but we caught... Uh, Celestial... Or Celestila... It's just such a fucking weird-ass name, but anyway... The Chief has already left to set up protection in the populated areas, or around the populated areas. You sent her off to the wrong location... What choice did I have? She's reaching her limit. We have to force her to stand by to regain her strength. So now we can finish off our little talk. You've got one follow right here. And the other one is Annabelle. Though I don't think she knows it herself. Yeah, I kind of figured as much. Judging on how uh, Looker was talking about everything and just how, like, just everything basically led to Annabelle very clearly being a fucking uh, follower. So anyway. Nanu and I, we found her here ten years ago, unconscious on the shore of this very island. We just finished our mission here. She had lost most of her memories, but four things she could tell us. That her name was Annabelle, that she came from the Hoenn region, that she had protected some tower there, and that she was a powerful trainer. Now, I don't know how many people are going to pick up on this, but she is actually Battle Tower... She's, she's the Battle Tower Frontier Brain from Hoenn. She's like that exact character. I don't know if people noticed that before. I certainly didn't, but she's that. She's that fucking character, which is crazy to think about because maybe that gives you a sense of time for this game. Maybe it's like 10 years after Hoenn. I don't know, man. But anyways, then she was placed under observe or observation by the international police uh, because they detected an insane amount of ultra wormhole energy from her. It may, be the, it may be that she was wandering lost in the wormhole for some time. Regardless of that, she then entered the international police herself. And then got promoted right up past you. Her senior, is that it? Gotta hand it to the international police. They really are terrible. Using the same strategy and setting up another faller, even though the same thing failed before. Your assumptions, you are half right in. However, this mission she chose herself. Perhaps something in her laments, whether she is conscious of it or not. Perhaps she gives some, or she feels some sort of grief over the fate of the UB, which came in this world just as she did. She still is a fall, or she, but she still is a faller. It is her fate to be targeted by UBs. With a faller right before them, the UBs will run wild with excitement. No matter how good she might be, everyone has their limits. That is why I had hoped to distract the UBs to, to divert some of their attention. That is why I asked you to help with the catching of the UBs. But you're out of luck now. With Annabelle in that condition, she'll be done for if she runs into any UBs now. Hmm. Yes, and I imagine that the false lead I sent her out on will not buy us much more time. But before we're out of time, girl, how about a battle with me? Why would- Look, we're literally- we're, we're literally running out of fucking time and you want a battle? Why? Why not? If you've got some preparation you need to do, then I'll wait for you- or wait here for you. Nanu, you were- she's fucking in trouble and you're here like, Hey, wanna battle? Like, dude, come on! Whatever, we're gonna fucking battle Nanu here. Can't say I necessarily expected to be doing that right now, but, uh, it's time to fight Nanu. Oh boy! God damn it, man. Now, it has been a very, very long time since we've fought Nanu. Uh, but he's still- he's, he's quite a lot stronger, I will say, right now. He is horrifyingly strong. At least for this point in the game. Maybe if you're higher level than him, of course he won't be, but... I know damn well I'm not higher level than him right now, so of course I'm in a bit of trouble. Of course you withdrew fucking Sableye, and of course- Oh, wonderful! You asshole. Alright, alright, whatever. 
I'm gonna switch out real quick, because that's not gonna work out for us at all. Uh, let's see... Certainly gonna use something like Earthquake. So how about we deal with it with fucking Epona real quick, why don't we? I don't know, man. Let me tell you though, w with the time that I tried this, it did not go well. It went very, very badly, but let's see, hopefully we can survive this Earthquake because... Uh, that's just, that's like right on half health, holy shit. Are we faster though? No, we're not. Oh god, please survive it, please survive it, please survive it. Just by a tiny bit, uh, holy shit. <laughs> that is way too close, but is superpower gonna be enough to one-shot it? Uh, it might not be. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. And our defense fell, so uh, I think that's goodbye to opponent here. Unless it misses, then... There's no way. Oh, nope. And I don't think opponent's gonna hold on to 1 HP from 14 HP, so that's that. Ah, damn it. Ooh, boy. It's certainly gonna be a fight, all right. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna go for Esmeralda, and I'm gonna go for the quick attack in hopes that it is able to take it down. Now, my one worry is that we've never had good luck with quick attack, so is this gonna be enough to take it down? And are we gonna... Oh... Yes! It's just enough to take it down. And we didn't miss, which we always fucking do when I specifically need quick attack to work. But next up is Persian. Okay. I'm gonna send Zerkatry back out. I need to make sure I also get uh, Electric Terrain up real quick because that might be very, very useful, honestly. I'm not sure if it boosts Electric-type moves or what, but certainly to make sure I get that up. Alright, so, Electric Terrain... Oh, fuck! We might be in trouble! Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Black Hole Eclipse. Oh, no. No, Garfield, don't do it! Holy shit. Please survive it, please survive it, please survive it. I'm gonna hope that you can, considering you're a goddamn Ultra Beast and you're pretty damn strong. <gasps> Holy shit! He just barely fucking survived! Oh my god! That's not even funny. Alright, I'm gonna get my- I'm gonna get, uh, Zerkatree's health back up to full because we need this thing to just wipe through this team. Because if it does not wipe through this team, we are going to be here for ages, let me tell you. Dark Balls! What's the damage output on that? Oh, god. Alright, we're gonna be able to survive another one, so hopefully... I'm pretty sure we're faster. No, apparently we're not faster. What? Holy shit, come on. Please be enough to take it down in, like, a single hit. Whoa! That's fucking crazy, okay. Beast boost, yeah, okay. What else do you got for us? Esmeralda, Gruel level, not even bad. Lapis Gruel level, wonderful. Haunch Crow, okay. Now I'm gonna make sure that we don't lose circuitry because that boost the special attack could be what lets us just fucking wipe out this team. Now, I'm not fully sure if I'm faster. I would assume we are, but even then, I feel like that's not a very safe assumption, you know? Sucker Punch. Haha, <laughs> it failed. Alright. I'm gonna use Hypnosis. Oh, you have Insomnia, you jerk. Oh, God. Nope, I'm setting up the terrain again. I cannot fucking risk this. Luckily, it just keeps wasting Sucker Punch. Alright. Like, I don't want it to use Sucker Punch! I'm gonna waste another turn with Insomnia, just so it fucking wastes Sucker Punch. How much PP does Sucker Punch have? If I'm not mistaken, how much- I think it has like five or something? Pokemon, Sucker... Punch... Is it five? I'm just fucking double checking real quick. Yeah! About five or so. So I'm just gonna- I'm gonna keep this going, because I don't want to fucking deal with its dumbass Sucker Punch anymore. Alright, I think that might be- that might just be enough. I don't know, man. Uh, just in case, another Hypnosis. Alright. There we go. So now- Whoa! Now I won't have Sucker Punch anymore, but holy shit. Alright. Wait, no, I did not mean to... Shoot. I did not mean to go for that. Oh, fuck. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to- God damn it, now I'm, have to... now I'm gonna have to heal fucking... Circuitry again, and then I'm also gonna have to... Set up, uh, well, I might not have to set it up right now. Actually, it might be smarter to set it up so it's active while I'm dealing with the other fucking uh, Pokemon that Nanu has, but... Alright, alright, let's go for- let's just take it out with Discharge real quick because I'm tired of dealing with this dumbass Haunch Crow. Alright, there we go! 
So another beast boost for us. Holy shit. So what else do you got for us? You got Sableye. Alright, I know damn well we're faster than this thing. So I'll be able to finish it off real quick. Hopefully, I don't see why not. Okay. And that's Sableye down and just what awaits us now. So you've taken everything but one out. I'm gonna hope that we're faster than whatever it is. Because I know damn well, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can output whatever damage we need to take it down. Absol! Alright, uh, no, I'm not gonna switch out. Alright. If we're faster than this Absol, I think we're just guaranteed to take it down no matter what, so... Oh no. Oh god, survive it, survive it, survive it, survive it! No! Oh, we were so close! We could've had it there. That could've been it, but you know what? Alright. I'm gonna send in Lapis. I'm gonna use Toxic on it, and we're just gonna go from there, really. Psycho Cut. No! Why? Okay, luckily Lapis survived it, but still, holy shit, why? Why is this thing so damn annoying? Now, as far as I know, I don't believe Nanu will heal it. He might end up healing it later. I don't really know, but... Alright, at the moment, I'm just gonna do as much as I can to get my Pokémon all healed up and everything. Uh, let's see... Uh, okay, I'm gonna heal Apona all the way back up to full with a max revive. Psycho Cut might take down Lapis, sadly. Alright, now we're just- now we're- I just need to try and take advantage of whatever damage Apona can do, because... Uh, I don't trust using Robin, I don't trust using Esmeralda, I don't trust using any of my Pokémon against this Absol. Because I'm almost 100% sure it has things that can take us down, so it wouldn't even matter if we have something super effective against it. However, we do have that. Let's see. I say I take advantage of our Z move, though. Night Slash, okay, as long as you can survive it, we'll be good. Ooh, that is a lot of damage. But luckily, we can get off our Z move that we've been waiting so long to use. Thank God. And hopefully this is going to do enough for Toxic to finish it off. I don't care if we, like, completely take it out, but at the very least, if it can do enough for Toxic to finish it off, then I'll be very, very much so content with whatever the hell this thing, or whatever this move does, rather. God damn it, I always forget how fucking stupid that move looks, or just crazy that move looks, but there we go! Not even bad. Finally! I'd say this fight is probably one of the most difficult yet, but there we go. Hmm, looks like he got me. <laughs> oh boy. So what now, huh? That'll do, girl. I think that'll do fine. Don't let me down. Alright. It's a little weird for us to fight him there, but okay. What do you gotta say, Looker? I won't. <laughs> Triple Zero? I'm guessing that's like, uh, Nanu's codename, but... Well then, young Luna, it is our time to get down to work, is it not? Our final UB. Codename Glutton. Nanu said he would've, or he would lead it deep into the heart of Resolution Cave. So we've got Glutton and 000. Here you are, as usual. Okay, we got the Beast Balls. Luna, this is your final assignment. But first, my young friend, let us get the regular reports out of the way. Madam Wick, finish analyzing all of the data that we gathered from our la- or on the last UB that you caught. If you wish to learn more about that capture, then you should speak with Madam Wick in the Aether Found or Aether Paradise Secret Labs. And now it is time we get to work. If you need anything to ask, or if you need to ask me anything, I am here. Alright. So let's see, so where do we need to go? Let's see... Single specimen. The Heart of Resolution Cave. Uh, let's see... You, even farther down Ancient Pawnee Path, even past Pawnee Meadow. Alright. What is it? Has something ha- okay, no, 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 okay, okay, okay. So, Resolution Cave. Where the fuck is that? Hold up, let me look at- Let me look at the map. I swear to god, it is- it, it- Don't tell me it's- Oh god. Is it in this one area that we've not gone to yet? Wait, hold up. Is it? That's... Pony Gauntlet. No, I don't think it is then. Where the hell? So that's the Ruins of Hope. It's Pony Grove. Pony Plains. It is somewhere in here, isn't it? Pony Coast. God damn it, man. 
Alright, so let me make sure I get all healed up and everything, and I guess I'll go to where I think we need to go uh, to find it, and I'll see you guys back again in a bit. Oh, what's going on here? How are you, Luna? If you collect all cell- Okay, you were just- uh, Use the reassembly unit, transform into Zygarde. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Y guys, I'm trying to fucking, you know, d do what I need to do. Wait, what? Oh, God, they're showing me Mega Evolution. Oh, boy. God damn it, man. We're fighting Dexio. Dude, I didn't want to fucking deal with this shit right now. I'm trying to catch an Ultra Beast, thank you very much. And of course I have Sumo out in the front. God fucking damn it, man. Alright. Honestly, though, I'm, uh... Okay, I guess I... I guess I'm... I wouldn't say forced to cover this, but I mean, it's a part of the post-game, so... I'm not just gonna skip out on this, so we gotta deal with Dexio now. Wonderful. After we just dealt with goddamn Nanu, so... Hopefully this one isn't as bad. Luckily we avoided that right there, because that was more than likely going to one-shot us, let's be perfectly honest. But we took him down just like that, so that's wonderful to see. What other garbage do you have with you, Dexio, huh? So, Metagross. Uh, let's see, let's see. I think we'll still be able to do decent enough damage to it, so I'm gonna make sure I stay on out. Although I'm almost 100% sure this goddamn Metagross has something... That'll probably be doing a nice amount of damage to us. Not even half. Wow, okay. Brick break, yep. There it is. Oh, just barely survived it. Okay, Esmeralda, I'm gonna need you to just do the most damage you could possibly do with Crunch. I should have gone for my Z move, to be honest, but... Oh, wait! <gasps> what? Oh, okay, that... Oh, okay, that, that works. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, what else? What else you got for us, Dexio? Zap crew level as well, not even bad. So you got Raichu. Although the problem is, I don't know if that's regular old Raichu or like Alola Raichu. I think regardless, I can still take it down with uh, Earthquake because as far as I know, Raichu does not get levitated at all. Or Alola Raichu, rather. Of course. it. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. And like, you know, I've had my Raichu affected by ground type moves before, so we're good. Reflect? You know, that really doesn't even matter. You could have used your turn so much better. You could have done so much more than use Reflect, but I mean, that's on you. You're dead now. Presumably. Yeah! I'm very glad Dexio is not as difficult as I would have guessed. Maybe I'm just very lucky? I don't know. Robin grew a level as well. Wonderful. I'm gonna send in Sloking. Okay. This should be, hopefully, a nice and easy one for Zap. Or so I would hope. Just gotta wait and see, I guess. Alright. Now, truth be told... I'm gonna go for my Z-move here, just to guarantee we take down this Slow King, because I'm not... I, I don't know, man. I'm not very confident in our ability to take it down just with regular old Wild Charge, you know? So he may as well make use of the fact that we are... 100% faster, and just make sure we use the most overpowered move we can against this thing, you know? And shabam. Bye bye. Wait. Wait. That wasn't enough to t take it down. What? Alright, luckily it only used Ice Beam, but still, what? That wasn't enough to. What? You mean to tell me an electric type Z move was not enough to take down a simple Slow King? Like, okay, whatever. I mean, it's down now, so it doesn't even matter that much, but alright. What other garbage do you have on your team? You have an Alakazam, okay. Uh, let's see... I'm gonna keep in Zap for now, so I can heal up Esmeralda. And if Zap gets taken down, then I'll just simply, you know, switch on over to Esmeralda, but... If Zap doesn't, then I'll make as much use as I can out of Zap. But alright. Gonna get Esmeralda all healed up there, thank you very much. Oh, man, and now we're dealing with... Oh, God. Oh, boy. So what the hell? Oh, Trace. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Good Lord, that damage. Oh, my God. How is that even fair? All right, so, uh... I guess now it's time to see how Esmeralda fares up against this thing. 
I can't say I'm expecting many good things to happen here, but uh, we can hope. We can truthfully hope. It's faster than us and it has Focus Blast. So wonderful. Is this how it feels to deal with the fucking Mega Pokemon? Oh my god, why? Alright, um... Alright, opponent, go on in. Wait, no, but it has Energy Ball! No! Dude, what the fuck? Why are we just constantly getting destroyed by anything and everything that attacks us? Why, wow, just gonna one-shot us, isn't it? Okay, it didn't one-shot us, but I... Oh my god, dude! How is this even fucking fair? Alright, that is a nice bit of damage. Sadly, though, it will not be anywhere near enough to take it down. Uh, I'm gonna use another Max Revive, though, because I want to make sure we have Esmeralda. I think Esmeralda's Quick Attack might just be enough to take down this thing. Maybe I'm wrong, but just gotta wait and see, I suppose. Sadly, there goes Epona. Oh, but Epona survived! Holy shit. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. regardless of what we do, sadly, opponent's not faster, so... Whatever. And it didn't miss either, so... Oh, well. There goes a- Wait! Wait! It toughened it out! C is, could this be it? Could this be it? Please. Please tell me it is... Yes! Thank God. Dexio, you fucking asshole. There we go! Holy shit, man. <sighs> Why must you be this way? Whatever, though. The trainer holds the keystone. The Pokemon holds the Mega Stone. And that's how you can make your Pokemon Mega Evolve during battle. You can use the Z-Ring, so... Okay, whatever. I'm sorry, but I really do not care about this right now. I just simply wanted to fucking go to this new area that I've been needing to go for a while. And, like, you know... To find the new Yubi, like, seriously. I get it. Z-Power, you know, Mega Evolution. Whoa, it's so cool, but... You guys could not have come at a more unopportune time. Whatever, though. I'm gonna go heal up and you guys shall see me back in a bit as I explore this place, I suppose. Alright, so here we are. Right now, we're currently in Pawnee Grove, but... I would assume we still have a decent amount of exploring to do before we get to Pawnee Cavern. Now, I'm gonna say this right now. I'm going to avoid as many trainers as I quite possibly can. Because I'm just trying to get my UB Task Force mission done right now and not deal with 30 million trainers, you know? So, alright, cool. We have a lot of wild Pokemon circulating around here. So that seems like a very, very fun time. Totally, man. Alright. So let's the- oh god. There's a lot of rustling- we're well, not rustling gra grass, but like, moving grass. So okay, we avoided it. What's this? Pawnee Meadow? Uh, but what's the other one? What's this way? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that's Pawnee Meadow. What's this way The Oh, you look like a trainer. God damn it, dude. It's like, the problem is I just don't have a clue where I actually need to go. Is there anything through Pawnee Meadow? Or is it just of no use? I mean, it seems like it leads into maybe like a cave-like area, so I would guess maybe there... Maybe this is where we need to go, I don't know, but hey, Purple Nectar! Maybe this place is completely useless, but oh well. Gotta wait and see. Got some more purple nectar. Cool, 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 whatever. Let's see. Come on. Is this leading us to where we need to go, or is it just someplace completely useless? I really do not have the slightest of a clue. What's through here? Please tell me this is where we need to be. Resolution Cave, yes! So now we can just fucking run around. Until we get our new Ultra Beast, which is going to be Dragon Dark, if I'm not mistaken. That's why I have Sumo in the front. Okay, I'm just making sure. You never know. Okay. I'm also going to save just in case I uh, take it down, you know. I'm really not sure how it's going to go, but let's just run around until we encounter it. Of course, you got to use a little Max Repel uh, trick, or just the Repel trick, rather. Which is, you know, have a Repel and, like... Whatever Pokemon you currently have, it doesn't really matter. Uh, ready, so you can just run around until you encounter the Pokemon itself, you know? Oh! Okay. So I very clearly was not in the right area, God damn it! but you apparently have to go this deep into the cave, and, uh, here he is! 
Oh boy. <laughs> oh fuck. So, its attack is raised. It's Dark Dragon apparently. Let's uh, see what we can do to this thing. It's also level 70. So that is very, very scary to say the least. Gastro acid. Okay. Ooh. Ugh. I don't know, man. Okay, let's uh. I'm gonna go for knockoff. I don't want to be doing too much damage to this thing, you know? That oh yeah, it's part dark. I'm stupid. I should have just gone for uh Holy shit! I should have just gone for a uh, rock tomb, really, but okay, let's just keep going. And doing whatever we can in terms of damage to this thing. Oh, thrash. Oh boy. God damn it, man. And it got beast boost. Oh god, luckily it's only its special attack, so it won't be as bad, but still, okay. Um, I'm trying to consider what on earth I can throw out at this thing. Uh, I might can send an Esmeralda real quick, get in a quick attack and see how that's going to do in terms of damage, but whatever. Let's, uh, let's just take full advantage of that, I suppose. So, quick attack, don't miss. Damn it! Oh, fuck. Esmeralda barely survived that. It confused itself, though. Oh, this could be good. Alright, uh, quick attack. Please don't miss. Nice bit of damage there. Hopefully it hits itself on confusion, because if not, we are fucked. Okay, we're fucked. Oh, whoa! Esmeralda survived. Okay, cool. Alright, beast ball time. Let's hope we're lucky with this one. We have 40 beast balls. I don't think it should be that bad, but... Alright. So... One? Two? No! No! Okay, you're gonna be one of these! Don't kill yourself with confusion. Please don't. Use thrash. No! Well, there goes Esmeralda, I guess. Alright, luckily... I suppose we could take advantage of the fact that it's only able to use Thrash right now. And we'll probably only keep using Thrash for a bit. Uh, and send out Robin. Now, I also don't want to put its HP at 1 because there is the chance it'll hurt itself from confusion. And if it does, then we are a little screwed because then, you know, we gotta re-encounter it and do all that fancy, wonderful stuff. 1... 2... Three. Yes! Finally! There we go! The last of the Ultra Beasts has been caught. Thank God. And I managed to do it all while avoiding every single trainer in this area. I mean, yeah, I could've. And maybe that would've been useful, but... Man, this game is really testing my patience, so I would rather not. But there we go, we got Guzzlord. <laughs> what the fuck kind of name is Guzzlord? I mean, it looks really cool, though. I will say he's, uh... My favorite of the Ultra Beast Bunch, truth be told. He just looks the coolest, in my opinion. Alright, now that we've got that, let's go report it to Looker and, uh, I guess see what awaits us. I'm gonna get this real quick, though. Why does this cave look so familiar? Wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. Wait... Something about this place reminds me of a certain other place. Hmm... I don't know, man. We can get some of these items, whatever. I don't really care too much for it. Light ball, cool, whatever. I'm not gonna spend the rest of my time here, so, uh... Let's get an escape rope. I do believe it should work here. Uh, let's see. Where the hell is it? Escape rope! There we go. And then we can just fly on back to where we need to be- <laughs> Oh my god, that escape rope looks fucking amazing while we're on Toros. And we're back. Alright. So let's get on Charizard, fly back to where we need to be, and, uh... See what's going on with Looker. Alright, so now that we're back here, let's see what Looker has to say, I guess. Alright, what's going on, man? What is it? Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, we, I finished the mission! Amazing, bravo, you have done it! I must call the chief back at once! Uh... Okay, all's good! Yay! Wonderful! I finished sending the data from the UB you protected to HQ and to Miss Wick as well. Thank you for your hard work, Luna. Now we'll be able to learn all there is to know about Guzzlord, otherwise known as UB Glutton. Well done, or we've done it, Chief. Yes, we've successfully contained all the all of the UBs. Thank you so much for all of your hard work on these missions, Luna. And Mr. Looker. Not at all. All I did was provide backup for the two of you. It was all you and Luna, Chief. 
And now that we've finally completed our missions, I will treat us to- uh, I will treat us all to a feast of... One moment, please. Oh, what? what? What is it, Chief? We finally reached it, our grand finale, which we should end with a big feast. Our truly final mission requires that we go to Aether Paradise and report to Miss Wick that we've contained all of the UBs. Oh, indeed you are right. And we must thank her for all our, for the Pokeballs known as Beast Balls. Uh, we will be going to the Aether Paradise to report to Miss Wick about our success. If you are free, why don't you come along with us as well, Luna? Uh, we made it- or we make it for the secret labs in the lower floor of the Aether Paradise. Why don't you join us, Luna? I mean, I kind of wish they would just take me with them, but alright, now we gotta go to the Aether Paradise. God damn it, man! Here I was thinking, finally, we did it! We could feast and do all that wonderful stuff, but of course not. We still gotta go to the Aether Paradise and see whatever the hell awaits us here. It's never that simple. Of course it isn't. But whatever. We've already flown over here, so uh, it's just simply a matter of going down to the bottom floor where uh, Wick is, I guess. And then we're just going to see what on earth she really has to tell us. I have not the slightest of a clue what on earth Wick even has to say to us, but... Uh, oh, not the conservation... Damn. I always click. Or not click. I always press on the wrong thing with the stupid elevator. All right, let's try this again. Lab area. Let's not mess up this time. And let's see, is Miss- is, uh, not Miss Wick. I don't fucking call her Miss Wick. Is Wick just in her little lab place, or what? I mean, I would kinda guess she would be. I don't see why she wouldn't, but, uh, you never know. So, okay, let's see... What's going on here? That's a yes, okay. We've been waiting for you, Luna. Oh? Okay, this is, this is just like a nice little pleasant moment, I guess. Luna, thank you for coming. I'd like to first thank you all for your hard work containing the UBs. On behalf of the entire Foundation, I would like to offer you our most sincere thanks. With this, all the UBs that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole, which were opened in the earlier incident, have been caught. Oh no, we're the ones who should be thanking you, I think. We could have not done it without the use of the beast balls that you provided for us. We really probably wouldn't have, but there are negative ass assets of the foundation, or they are negative assets of the foundation. I'm happy to see them put to go or some good use. I hardly know how I can thank the two of you. Uh, don't forget Looker. Yes, Mr. Looker also did a great deal of or to help us with this mission. But I thought that he left us or he left before us. What is taking him so long to get here? I know that I told him we would meet here. Could something have happened? Oh? I'm gonna take that as it's a disaster. But really, Mr. Looker, even after all this time? What now? I'm sorry, I know it's a terrible habit, but I can't help it. And more importantly, it's a disaster! I would imagine it must be. What happened that made you so late? I was on the way here when I stopped by Melee Melee Island to get some of their famous and delicious, delicious malasadas as a gift for you all. But just as I finished my purchase, I chanced to look up in the sky, and there... There it was! A mysterious black. Something that- something was zipping across the bright blue sky over Alola? It was black, and yet it was shining somehow. It was- it was something- it, it was like it was refracting light. It must have been a UB. No, I'm certain of it. It was surely a UB. But it couldn't have been. We haven't gotten any word from the HQ about there being any more UBs. Please rest easy, I do, or please rest easy, I do not think it was a UB. We have hundreds of our Foundation members working in parallel with the International Police Investigation and scouring Alola for UBs. We have not detected any UBs other than the ones you've already contained for us. So you see, we should be quite safe now. I, I suppose. Perhaps I was just dazzled by the brilliant shining sky that stretches over Alola. And it is a little wondered if, or a little wonder if you were dazed. You have been working so hard, or so very hard. You must be very tired, Mr. Looker. Well, well, yes, I suppose I could do with a nice little break. And now you can have it. I received a message from HQ saying that our paid leave has been approved. Paid leave? You mean actual vacation time? They say we are free to do whatever or whatever we would like until we get our next orders from HQ. I hope you will use this chance to relax for a little, or a little while, Mr. Looker. I think I will stay here and have a good look around the Alola region. 
Not for this time, or not for work this time, but just as a regular tourist doing some sightseeing. Then I will go... <laughs> then I think I will go and eat my fill of delicious Alolan cooking. There are simply too many restaurants and, on, and eateries that I wish to visit. And their traditional dishes at the Sushi High Roller are absolutely sublime. Sushi High Roller? Oh no, I completely forgot, I was supposed to be meeting someone! What's this, a date? <laughs> no, 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 not a date, a meeting with Mr. Nanu. We owe him, we owe him quite a bit of, uh, for all this help. Uh, yes, I suppose we do. So, if you excuse me, Luna, everyone, I'm afraid I must be going. Uh, you good? But I really do thank you all. I hope we will meet again someday. Oh, oh, okay. I was very confused for a moment there, but we're good, I guess. What about you, Looker? Yes, my young Luna, I owe you my thanks. It is because of your efforts that we were able to keep the chief safe until the end. The folks at HQ that you needed to be, or thought that you needed to be paid for your work, so they sent this. Take it. How much is it? Holy sh! What? What? And now, I think it's time I went. I'll be staying at the motel on Mele Mele Island though, so feel free to be st or to stop by any time. Holy fuck. Whoa, oh my god. The UB conservation mission is complete. Alola shines beautifully. I guess that's it? What do you gotta say, Wick? Please just ask if, there any if there's anything I can help explain, Luna. Uh, never mind. For now, I don't need to ask anything. But people, that's going to be it for this uh, part of the post game. We're going to be doing some more next part. And you're probably like, what is there to do now, right? Well, for one, there's that, um, there's that black creature that Looker described. That is actually a legendary Pokemon. For one, um, okay, let me just say this. It's the Pokemon that everybody thought was an Ultra Beast, but is actually just simply a legendary. We're not gonna be trying to catch that next part. God damn it, I always mess this up. We're not gonna be trying to catch that next part, but instead we're going to be trying to catch it after we catch all of the Tapu, all of the Garden Deities, which we only have three or so to catch, I believe, so uh, we'll be starting our little journey to try and catch all of those next part, but for now, people, we can just rest easy, I suppose. I will be heading on back to... let's see. I don't know. I don't even know where I want to head back. Uh, let's just head back to Mele Mele Island, why don't we? Let's go to our fucking... Uh, let's just go to our house, why not? <laughs> All right, and once we get and once we get there, I'm just gonna heal up, do all that fancy, beautiful stuff, and I'm gonna end off this part. So I guess this is it for now. Of course, I will be back again in a little bit for some more of the post game. So people, if you have enjoyed this part of my Pokemon Moon series, specifically the post game, be sure to drop a like as well as a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you're really feeling it. And I shall see you guys back again in a bit for some more. Bye bye. Oh.